Lieutenant General Girish Sir, Special Secretary Hukum Singh Meena Sir, and Senior Program Manager Google Anul Ghosh to take a seat on the stage for the inaugural session. I would also like to invite AGI India President Sri Agendra Kumar to deliver his welcome address. Thank you, Sakshi. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all to India Geospe Geospatial Leadership Summit 2022. Among us today, we have uh, Lieutenant General Girish Kumar, former, former Surveyor General of India, Sri Hukum Singh Meenaji, Special Secretary, Department of Land Records, Sri Anup Singh, who is the Director General of Forest Survey of India, uh, based in Dehradun. Uh, he could not travel today because of uh, some high level visit that he's expecting this week in Dehradun, but he'll be joining us virtually. Uh, among us, we also have Mr. Abhijit Agarwal, uh, Project Director, MPSED, uh, MPSEDC today. Uh, I wholeheartedly welcome them and all other dignitaries members of the industry, academia, and my colleagues from the Association of Geospatial Industries. AGI is now in its 13th year since inception, as has membership from a wide spectrum of industries. We have technology companies, GIS services companies, satellite imagery and other content providers, companies that carry out survey through aircrafts and drones, terrestrial LIDAR survey companies, SIs, cloud infrastructure providers, and drone manufacturers. So many companies have joined Association of Geospatial Industries over the years, and it's a very large and important body, EPICS body in the country to represent the interest of geospatial community in, in India. Together, this industry can meet all the requirements and demands of various government and private organizations Indian GIS companies play a role in carrying out data application, system integration, and managed services in many countries across the globe. Indian GIS industry has made a name for itself in the world by being associated with some of the most prestigious programs in various verticals by providing timely service at attractive rates and quality execution. Over the last seven, eight years in India, we have witnessed advanced geospatial technologies constantly empowering government and private organizations to build geospatial infrastructure that helps them plan policies and programs, automate operations, improve collaboration with stakeholders, monitor progress, and analyze the impact. Smart City, Smart City Mission, Amrit, Namami Gange, projects under Jal Shakti, uh, land records pro pro programs across the country, infrastructure development are some of the prominent segments where geospatial technologies and content have made huge impact. Gati Shakti and Swamitva are two important programs where public-private collaboration is beginning and is poised to work towards making these critical programs successful. The geospatial data guidelines and drone rules announced last year have brought in much needed reforms, pro provided a conducive policy regime where both government and private organizations can conduct their business with greater ease. Following these announcements, many of our member companies have made investments in software systems, platforms, hardware development, data creation, 3D mapping, digital twin creation for cities. So a lot of investment has come from the industry over the last 12 to 18 months. As per the Geospatial Artha report released by Geospatial World in December 2021, India's geospatial economy was valued at rupees 38,972 crores in the year 2021 and employed approximately 4,70,000 people across the country in the industry, user organizations, government services, and export services, all put together. In the year 2025, 
The geospatial economy is estimated to be valued at 52,770 crores, with employment in the sector rising to 9,50,000. So we expect it to almost double in the next three years. However, with the implementation of geospatial data guidelines and the policy which is expected and the drone rules and remote sensing policy, if, as, if in the country we are able to implement these policies during this year, that is year 22-23, then the impact of geospatial technologies can, can be higher by almost 10,000 crores more, taking the econ e economy, geospatial economy to 63,000 crores with a cumulative average growth rate of 12.8% and employ additionally another lakh or so people. Infrastructure, agriculture, water, transportation, land management, power and gas utilities. These are some of the prominent sectors where econo higher economic value and employment creation can be done by use of geospatial technologies. It is estimated that the use of GIS in these sectors can generate operational benefits of rupees 10 lakh 34,000 crores annually in terms of improved planning, efficiency, uh, better productivity, enhanced decision support, reduced labor requirements, and cost savings and cost avoidance. Further, the consumer benefits in terms of improved transparency, enhanced convenience, time saving, and better quality of life and mobility could contribute as much as rupees 10 lakh 27,000 crores per annum in terms of economic value in these sectors. Social benefits in terms of employment generation, sustainable natural resource management, environment conservation and restoration, and better response to disasters and community development can be rupees 56,250 crore per annum. Additionally, apart from these, 8,65,000 more jobs can also be created. So that's the impact geospatial technologies can bring to the economy of the country. While the geospatial segment is poised to grow and continuously enhance economic value, the path of our member companies is still, still has some challenges that require action. There's lack of base data and standardization process. Uh, there's limited capacity in, in the government to design dynamic and technologically sound tender specifications and procurement guidelines. Due to this, industry often is faced with challenges of tenders getting cancelled and retendering happens multiple times, in which precious time and effort are wasted. Also, payment delays from government sector continue to be a major demotivator for the industry in India. The new geospatial data guidelines announced by the government were the first major policy change in decades and in order to derive full benefit from these guidelines, creation of fresh data sets is very important. This can be done by government agencies under public-private partnerships as well as through the private sector, which can also play a crucial role in the implementation of various government programs. Focused investment through government schemes is the need of the hour. This is needed, there is a need to provide funds for a period of at least five years to, to be consumed by national mapping, mapping agencies, organizations like Survey of India, Geological Survey of India for updating existing data sets and creating new data sets, which will eventually become an ongoing activity. Ladies and gentlemen, lastly, I would like to talk about another big challenge that the world is facing. It is about sustainability and climate change. We see the effects of climate change every day in the form of rising temperatures, heavy rains in short period of time causing flash floods, droughts, landslides, etc. These lead to many natural disasters. Geospatial technologies and data have been helping in the management of these disasters. A lot of geospatial companies and government organizations join hands whenever there's a need to address and mitigate the risk from these disasters. To, however, there is a lot more collaboration required in these areas. We have seen the impact of geospatial technologies in saving thousands of lives 
in the situation of cyclones, the value of human life cannot be measured in terms of rupees and dollars. Many of our member companies joined hands with various agencies in better management of resources and in providing actionable insight throughout through the use of geospatial data and technologies in the pandemic situation over last more than two years. Immense value is already being created and it will only get enhanced due to the positive policy framework and better public sector and private sector collaboration. Over last few years, government has implemented many programs and geospatial technologies have added value. And as the country scales new heights, geospatial industry will be there to walk along. Thank you and Jai Hind.